With all this talk of nuclear weapons, North Korea, war in the South China Sea, we've been thinking, what would happen in the event of a nuclear war? Mustafa Sarsman, Associate Professor of Physics at Istanbul University, is here to walk us through exactly what will happen during a nuclear explosion and the resulting fallout. Basically, when a nuclear weapon detonated, the energy in it comes out in form of blast energy, about 50%. Thermal energy, which is about 35%, and nuclear radiation, which forms about the remaining 15%. The blast creates the most damage. The sudden change in air pressure creates a shock wave, which can crush objects and even destroy large buildings. This also spreads debris up and around the area. Then terrible wind comes and destroys objects and people. And it's also hot. The center of explosion is hotter than the surface of the sun, which is about a hundred million Celsius degrees. Depending on how far away someone is, they can either be vaporized or get serious burns on their bodies. Then you're left with various forms of radiation, the effects of which can be short-term, like a day or longer, as in many months. Depending on how far you are from the blast determines your chance of survival. Today there are an estimated 14,550 nuclear warheads between these nine nations. So what would happen if even 100 small-scale Hiroshima-sized atomic bombs went off? Each explosion would release megatons of black carbon, kind of soot, which would travel into the atmosphere. And to add to that, firestorms resulting from multiple blasts could last for days and even weeks, pushing columns of ash, soot, and smoke up into the atmosphere, along with the black carbon blocking out the sun and causing a drop in global temperature. Some of the nuclear fallout radioactive particles would travel hundreds of kilometers and rain down on areas far away from the blast. And radiation intensity is much higher in these areas. And this nuclear winter could last for years or even centuries. Without sunlight hitting the planet, plants and crops would die, livestock and people would starve, and survivors could witness the first man-made ice age. The survivors would, would have to deal with future genetic mutations and many cancer cases. So with all this in mind, will nuclear powers continue to threaten each other with weapons that could wipe out the entire planet? And do you think you could survive? <laughs> <laughs>